Hi guys, it's Lily and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing my first ever cooking video and I'm super excited. I'm cooking for my whole family so gotta pray that it's really good. <laughs> but I got this idea from my friend Bryce Stevens. He has his own YouTube channel. I actually filmed this video like over a year ago I'm pretty sure and I made these once this summer or like this past summer with him and I figured I want Chick-fil-A right now and I probably shouldn't be going to get it and spending my money during all this craziness so yeah we're gonna be trying to make our own Chick-fil-A sandwiches at home and I got all of the ingredients here before I started filming I cut up chicken breasts and each of them are in like a patty form and they are marinating in pickle juice i guess that's the secret ingredient to chick-fil-a sandwiches that looks really disgusting <laughs> but i have confectioners sugar flour milk peanut oil garlic powder salt pepper and paprika and I think that's all we really need. So I have to like, I think, put peanut oil in this. First, I'm going to be making like the breading because I feel like that would be the easiest thing to do. Just put all the dry ingredients together and then do everything else after that. So let's get started. I will link the ingredients and like the recipe in the description below. And I'm pretty sure I have to double everything because this only makes like four sandwiches and I'm making seven. So I'm just gonna double everything. I got all the dry ingredients in a bowl. It smells kind of good, which is surprising because it's just like the batter. Now I'm going to combine the egg and the milk in one jar, bowl, whatever you want to call it. Once upon a time, someone told me that it can do so this is the milk and the egg mixture that is all of these dry ingredients in a bowl so now one i have to put peanut oil in here and have it like cook to a certain degree but i'm just gonna make sure it's hot and then put these that are still marinating in the pickle juice put these in there and then there and then there and then there and then sizzle them in there so far so good i am really surprised with me being good at this because I've never cooked anything besides like eggs in my life. This story could be yours. You got nothing to lose. Oh, just feel the power change your mood. Yeah. I'd like you know all the rules. My hands are so dirty everything <laughs> literally everything around here is dirty we got three done i have a few more to go <laughs> i'm gonna have to deep clean this kitchen and my camera and my tripod after this I'm getting really nervous, but I still think it's just taking longer than I thought. But I think it'll be good. They look good so far, don't they? And then we're having corn on the cob with it. And I have to toast these buns like Chick-fil-A does. So I'm putting them in the toaster oven in a little bit. I'm excited. Pudgy's just waiting for it all to be done. <laughs> all of the chicken is done. It's 
a little messy, but I finished it. And now we're waiting for all of these to toast. Oh my god, that was done. I was running inside of the shadows Like a wolf who was racing the storm Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe In the feel, in the feel Okay, before my camera dies, the presentation, I'm going to rate a 2. <laughs> They're not very um, aesthetically pleasing, but it's okay. And we'll have to try it to judge the taste. So it is later on in the night. Obviously, it's like pitch black out, but I was very amazed at my cooking skills like i'm probably making a big deal out of this when it's not a big deal but like guys i don't cook at all like i've never tried to so that was like the big reveal to see if i have it in me have the potential of being a good cook and i'd say i do my family loved it I was like put to sleep almost at how good it was like I was amazed like I don't even have any other word for it it was very good it looked ugly <laughs> and kind of disgusting but I promise you it was really good so I really think that you guys should try it it didn't take that long. It took longer than I expected, but still it wasn't that long. It was very reasonable, but it was quite messy, but that's also because I'm messy. So I don't really know how it is with like normal people that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> but anyway, I really recommend this. Saves you money because I have three more of them left over in my refrigerator right now that would be like $15 at chick-fil-a so <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this first ever cooking video overall I would rate myself an 8 out of 10 because the taste was there but again it was messy and it didn't look very appetizing but what matters the most is the taste to me personally. So I would give myself an 8 out of 10 and I am a-okay with that. Subscribe if you would like more. But also comment down below right now what other recipes that you think I should try. Or like you could do like some easy fun ones like cookies. But also I feel like it would be fun to try cooking something like super hard and see how I do. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below like I just said, subscribe, turn my post notifications on, and peace. Mwah. Also, don't forget that I post every Monday and Thursday, and I might have a surprise coming in June with that, so, yeah. Follow me, follow me, I follow me.